So in acupuncture, we tend to adapt the treatment according to the pattern of the patient. So this can be an excess pattern or a deficiency pattern. Uh, we'll need to adapt the way we are using needles to address really these problems of deficiency or excess. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to use reinforcement techniques to address deficiency and we're going to use reduction techniques to address excess. So there are different ways of achieving this reinforcement or reduction which includes using insertion and removal techniques, there are some breathing techniques, uh, there are techniques about the direction of the needle, uh, there are lifting and thrusting techniques and there are also twirling techniques. So we're going to run through that all of these today. So I'm going to insert the needle in the tissues very deep, very slowly. So this would be a reinforcement technique. Slow movements give an emphasis on the action. That's why slow insertion emphasizes on bringing chi inside and ultimately achieves reinforcement. Due to the same reason, the needle is removed quickly and the point is closed directly with a cotton ball. So we're going to show that. So this would be a reinforcement technique. I'm closing directly the point so the chi is not coming out. On the opposite, if you want to achieve reduction, you will insert the needle quickly. So remember, we always penetrate the needle quickly, but then the movement, when I'm going deeper, I will do it very quick. So this movement is very quick. But because I want to bring the chi out, we are doing reduction now. So I'm going to remove the needle at the end of the session, of course. I'm going to remove the needle very slowly, and I can even do some small rotation like this to make the hole even larger. And then when it's out, I don't close the hole directly. I wait a little bit. If there is some bleeding, I can wait for a few seconds, and I press with the cotton ball. We're now going to talk about the breathing um, reinforcement and reduction techniques. So I will insert the needle when the patient is breathing out and remove the needle when the patient is breathing in. And this will achieve reinforcement. So Samantha, can I ask you to breathe out now? Good. Okay. So, and then we're doing the whole acupuncture session. And let's say it's been 20 minutes, 25 minutes. It's time to remove the needle, and I will ask you to breathe in now. Okay, and I remove the needle when she's breathing in. If we want to do the reduction technique, we'll do exactly the opposite. So inserting the needle when the patient is breathing in, and removing the needle when the patient is breathing out. So, can you, I ask you to breathe in now? That's good. And now, let's imagine it's been 20 minutes. Is a been about here? Okay, so let's imagine it's been 25 minutes now. And I will remove the needle and I ask the patient to breathe out. Go, Samantha, can you breathe out for me? Okay, that's good. And I remove the needle now. Um, we're going now to see um, a third type of reinforcement and reduction technique it would be the direction of the insertion. So for the direction of the insertion, we can still penetrate the skin in a perpendicular fashion. And then once we have penetrated the skin, if we needle in the direction of the channel, which is um, from, from the hand to the face, in this case, we will achieve Reinforcement. So this is reinforcement of the hand Yang Ming channel, which is going this way. If I want to do reduction, I will do exactly the opposite. So I will needle in the direction opposite of the channel. So this will be this direction. Okay. So this is the reinforcement and reduction techniques using the direction direction of the needle. 
Now we have our, our more common one, which is the lifting and thrusting reinforcement reduction techniques, which is the same as the simulation techniques we have seen before in the last video. Um, but this time we're going to emphasize on one direction or another. So when we are doing reinforcement, we are doing an emphasis on the thrusting movement. And when we are doing reduction, we're having an emphasis on the lifting movements. So when we talk about emphasis, it's really about doing the movement slowly and strongly. So, of course, you will do back and forth, up and down. So now we're doing reinforcement, so I will emphasize on the thrusting movements. And I'll go back quickly. I emphasize on the thrusting and I lift quickly. Emphasize on thrusting, go back quickly. This is reinforcement. Reduction will be the exact opposite. So I have an emphasis on the lifting movement and I go back quickly. Emphasize on the lifting movement and then go back. Emphasize on the lifting movement and then I go back. So this is will be the reduction technique. Then we have another one which is very common. This is the twirling method. The twirling methods, of course, you have to go both clockwise and anti-clockwise, and again, you emphasize um, in one direction or another, uh, because this is a very complex method, and the direction clockwise or anti-clockwise depend on many factors, such as the side of the body, the gender of the patient, and even the time of the day. In general, we don't use that technique in the clinic, but what you can do is using the range and the frequency of the twirling, as a reduction and reinforcement technique. And this is much less contentious. So basically, this is simple. Um, if we are doing a very slow movement with a narrow range of twirling, this is our reduction, this is a, sorry, reinforcement technique. If we're using a wide range of twirling and a rapid movement, so a stronger simulation, this will be a reduction technique. Additionally, if you retain the needle a little bit longer, this will achieve reinforcement. And if we retain the needle a bit shorter, this will achieve reduction. Finally, the strength of the stimulation will also achieve reinforcement reduction, with a strong manipulation achieving reduction and a light manipulation achieving reinforcement. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Johan Berling, clinician, lecturer and researcher. This video was produced by Sydney Institute of Traditional Chinese Medicine. Please check our tutorials and more information on the school in the description below. You can join our community and also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Good practice and take care.